guys! So today I thought I would give you an updated look at my beauty cabinet. This is where I have all of my skincare and everyday hair products. I have done a beauty cabinet tour in the past, but it was a couple of years ago when I lived in my other condo, and I have one even older than that from my apartment before my condo. So this is something that I like to do every now and then. I just had a really nice declutter and clean out of this beauty cabinet and now I only have items in here that I absolutely love and it's just so nice because it was like I mean it looks pretty crowded even right now but before it was overflowing and it just like wasn't very nice at all I've actually been doing a lot of declutters in my house I've been showing them on my other channel and also on snapchat my snapchat is at miss l fowler if you guys are not following me on there you should because I snap almost every single day and I've been doing some makeup declutters, I've been doing closet declutters, just declutters everywhere in my house. And today, this was the project. I'm really excited. I wanna kind of show you guys every single thing that I have in here because this is also a favorites video kind of because these are all of my favorite skincare products and my everyday hair products. So I thought it was just be like an interesting video to show. As I was decluttering this, I finished a new book and on Snapchat, someone requested for me to mention the books that I'm reading in videos since I haven't been doing a ton of glitterchers. So I finished the book, The Glass Sword, which is the sequel to The Red Queen, and it was so good. I recommend this series so much. It actually like took me a while to finish The Red Queen because I stepped away from it for a while, but Blair kept recommending it to me, so I finally finished it. I ended up going through The Glass Sword really quickly on my Audible, and I finished it as I was decluttering this closet. So it's like on my brain right now. It's so, so, so good. If you guys want a free audiobook, you can pick out any book for free. If you go to audible.com slash L and just experience it and see how you like it. But I like it especially when I'm doing things like this, when I'm decluttering or I'm cleaning or I'm just doing other things and I can't necessarily read with my eyeballs. Listening to it is the perfect, perfect way. Or if you're driving, if you're going on a road trip, if you're traveling, I just am obsessed with it. It is something I genuinely love and I think everyone should try. All right, moving on to the products. So this cabinet is just a mirrored medicine cabinet. I love these things. Most people put like medicine in them, I guess, but I think they are perfect for skincare. I was so happy that my house came with these because I just love them. So they have these adjustable shelves that you can move around. I'm pretty sure most apartments come with things like this too because like I said, I've had them in like every single place that I live, so I think they're pretty common, but I never grew up with one of these, so it's like a new thing that I'm like, I love these in houses, I don't know. Anyway, I'll start with the bottom. So on the very bottom shelf, I have my two creams. I have the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream and the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. The Sunday Riley one is my favorite right now. It is incredible. I use it both morning and night. It's very hydrating, but it also sits really well underneath makeup if you use it in the morning. It kind of has like a nice slip to it. I don't think it would be good if you're oily, but for dry skin people, it's so nice. This is one of my like favorite, favorite items. Then I have my eye creams. This is the Estee Lauder Firm and fill eye system. There are two parts to this. One, the first one's like a little bit creamier and it firms up your under eye area. And then the second one is a little bit more opaque and it's a little bit of a firmer consistency. And it has all of these light diffusing particles that just help fill in your under eye fine lines. And so I've really been liking these two together. And then I have this little plate that says Mrs. with a heart. I got this in one of my bridal boxes. I can't remember which one, but I just use it to set my engagement ring when I'm taking a shower or when I'm washing my face, just so it's not like loose on my counter. I like having it inside of this cabinet with the door shut so that I know that nothing's gonna hit it. The cat's not gonna come up here and like knock it into the sink or anything. I just think that it works really well right there, nice and safe. Above that, I have my three cleansers. The one that I've really, really been loving is the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. This stuff is incredible. It's super cleansing. It starts off as kind of a dry oil. You put it on dry skin and then it emulsifies when you add a little bit of water. It turns a little bit milky. I take it off with a muslin cloth and I just think that it leaves such a pretty, like very hydrated feel to the skin. It doesn't feel stripped at all. Same with both of my balm cleansers over here. We have the Emma Hardy Amazing um, Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. Love this stuff. This is actually my second container of it. 
I just think that it's so gentle. It's beautiful. It takes off all of your makeup. You can even use it on your eyes. It's so, so, so gentle. And then the one above it, I actually have not tried yet. This is the newest item to my entire skincare cabinet. I just bought this during the Sephora VIB sale. It is the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm. I've read really good things about this and I love my cleansing balms. And so I just wanted to try it. Actually, now that I like have my beauty cabinet put together i probably would have been okay with just my two cleansers but i am glad that i have it because i've heard great things about it and i want to give it a try i probably will end up doing a review of this after i've given it a good try on my blog which is dreamingandblush.com next to that i have all of my everyday hair products there's not a ton here but the ones that are here are things that i use every single time i wash my hair all of my other products like hairspray and all of that stuff is underneath my sink but this is like the stuff that i use every single day so first we have the it's a 10 miracle leave-in product I love this I've gone through so many bottles of this probably like at least eight bottles of this behind that I have the it's a 10 miracle leave-in for blondes this is a purple tinted version of the it's a 10 I actually don't like it very much so I'm trying to just use it up I don't use it every single time I wash my hair I alternate it with the other one like every other time but I am trying to use it up and I won't be repurchasing it I'll just be buying the regular one then I have some dry shampoo. This is the Rockaholic TG Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. I've used so many bottles of this. It's another favorite. And then my favorite hair cocktail of the moment are these two products together. We have the Unite Smooth and Shine, which is a styling cream, and then we have the Unite U Oil Argan Oil. And I put about a pea size amount of the Smooth and Shine with three pumps of the oil and I love these together. So when I get out of the shower with wet hair, I first do the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, and then I do these two products together, and then I dry my hair, and I absolutely love it. Like These products are amazing. They're so luxurious feeling, and they make my hair, they don't weigh my hair down, but it gives it just the right amount of moisture and hold. I just love this combination. Above that, we have all of my toners and also a random serum and a random eye makeup remover that didn't fit anywhere else. I actually don't have a full size eye makeup remover going right now. I'm using up this travel one by Lancome, the bifacial. I do love this stuff and I've owned it in full size, but this is just a travel one. I do need to buy an eye makeup remover. I don't really have one that's like holy grail material so I just haven't like bought one yet but if you guys have a recommendation maybe there's one that's really good that I haven't tried I would love to try it next I have the new pixie glow tonic you guys might recognize this product because I've had it before in the old packaging which was square and kind of had like a weird opaqueish bottle with like a pump like a soap dispenser pump kind of thing um, and I use that up. I do love it. So I ended up getting the new version, which is in a much better packaging that doesn't leak when you mail it because the other one leaked a lot. So this is an acid toner. It has glycolic acid in it. This one's a little bit more gentle than the next acid toner, which I'm going to show you. So I can use this in the morning or I will use it at night if I'm going to do acid a couple nights in a row because I don't do my liquid gold a few nights in a row, which is the next product. So that's glow tonic. Love that. The other acid toner that I have is the Alpha H Liquid Gold. This is another glycolic acid toner, but I find that it is more, um, like more harsh, not in a bad way. It definitely, your skin needs that. My skin needs that sometimes, but it is something that I don't like to use two nights in a row. So I will use the Pixie Glow Tonic in between, or if I wanna use one in the morning, I'll use Pixie Glow. Then we have um, Hydroluron, which is a serum full of hyaluronic acid, which is very, very moisturizing. This was sent to me from the UK. I don't know if you can buy this in America yet. Last time I checked, which granted was probably a year ago that I looked into this product, um, you could not buy this in America. So I don't know if you can as of filming this video. I will try to link something below if I can find it. I'll link everything below just so you guys can find these products, but it might be that this one is still only available in the UK. And then I have two hydrating toners. So my favorite one of the moment is this one. It is the Queen of Hungry Mist by this brand that I can never say, Omrovixia or something. This stuff is incredible. It's like this herbal spray that you spray on your skin. It smells delicious. It feels so good and hydrating. It's just such a treat. Like it locks in everything. I use this either after my acid toner or on its own instead of an acid toner, like after I cleanse. 
um, if I don't feel like doing an acid toner. The other one is the Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic. This is another toner that's just very soothing and it is something that I can use after my acid toners or on its own. So that's a product that I've actually been using for a while and it's definitely something that I keep repurchasing because I do love it. So then after toners, we have oils and masks and then we have serums above that. So we'll do these first. I have two face oils and three face masks. The first oil is by Erin and it is the rose oil. This is such a luxurious treat. I love the smell of rose. And this is a product that I put on my skin after the toner. So this would take place of a serum. I can use this one in the morning because it's not especially, it, it sinks into your skin almost in like a drying way. Not. It doesn't make your skin dry, but it's almost like a dry oil, if that makes sense. It sinks into your skin. It doesn't leave a film on top of your skin. You can definitely continue layering on products or put your makeup on, and it's not going to leave like an overnight film on your skin the way some of these night oils do. So that is a really, really great oil. And then the one behind it is a cold-pressed oil. This is the African Botanics Manrula Pure Manrula Oil. Am I saying that right? Marula oil. And this is again really great for your skin. You can also use it in your hair. It brightens, it softens, it restores your skin elasticity. It has like so many things about it that are great and you have to use the smallest amount. Like I've had this guy for a while and like it barely has had a dip out of it. Like this stuff is so good. Next we have three masks. The first one is the Aesop Chamomile Concentrate Anti-Blemish Mask. I have not used this. This is actually a new product along with the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm. I've read great reviews on this and I just wanted to give it a try. I do love Aesop. I love their parsley seed mask. So I just wanted to give it a try, but I cannot tell you how this is yet. I will put it on my blog once I've tried it. Then we have the Pixie Nourishing Sleep Mask. This is an overnight nourishing mask. It has the texture of a cream and you just put it on and you sleep with it and you rinse it off in the morning. And it kind of like plumps your skin overnight. The stuff is so great. You wake up and for me at least, I feel like my skin has been hydrated from the inside out. And that's exactly what this product is meant to do. Like I actually see benefits from this product. I love it so much. And then behind that, we have the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Again, I love rose. I love clay masks. I feel like they feel great on the skin. And these two together, they're completely opposite, the retexturizing mask and the nourishing sleep mask. And I love them both. Like I think that they're both great masks. Last but not least, we have four treatments up here. The one on the left is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is one of my favorite all-time products. I have a review of it on my blog, which I will link below. It is incredible. You, It's a serum that you put on your skin underneath your moisturizer or instead of a moisturizer because it is very moisturizing. And in the morning, your skin feels like a different face. It's incredible. It's super, super nourishing. It kind of does the same thing as the sleeping mask in that it makes me feel like my skin gets a little bit plumped and just really worked on throughout the night. I love that stuff. Next to it is the Sunday Riley Luna, which is a sleeping night oil. This is a blue oil, which the first time you use it might totally freak you out because it's actually blue and it makes your skin kind of like gray tinged blue at first and then it goes away obviously, but it is a retinal treatment and so it can break you out if you're not used to retinal treatments. It can kind of be like a little bit of a questionable product if your skin is sensitive to retinal products. So that's the only thing that I would say about Luna, but I do love it. Then one next to that is Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is a lactic acid treatment. It is one of her best-selling products. She, this product, oh my goodness, it basically just lightly exfoliates your skin as you sleep. Lactic acid is really gonna get in there and kind of break up the bonds holding your dead, dull skin cells together and kind of help your skin like get rid of it during the night. It's gonna help even out pigmentation. It's going to like increase your circulation increase radiance, all of that stuff. So again, love that product. And the last product is the Estee Lauder Clear Difference Advanced Blemish Serum. This is a salicylic acid treatment. I actually use this as my spot treatment. I find that it's a little bit more gentle than doing an actual spot treatment. And so because of that, it's not super drying and you can use it underneath makeup if you use it during the morning. And it will just kind of protect that area and treat that area throughout the day without getting that really crusty kind of stuff build up on top of your problem areas, which happens with the drier spot treatment. 
that you can then put makeup over and it actually looks perfect and it does clear up the blemish really fast. Like this stuff, I don't know what it is, but like I swear by this stuff now, like it clears up your pimples so fast. I don't understand it. It's like magic stuff in there and it's way more gentle on your skin than a spot treatment. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini review of all of my skincare favorites. This is my whole skincare collection currently and I have really, really, really been loving all of these products and my little hair products stuck in there as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have everything linked below. I also will have the link if you guys want to get a free book. I definitely recommend doing that. Why wouldn't you want something for free? Audible.com slash L and you can get a free book. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.